Hi, I'm Janice Swetlow, and I'm going to add a little bit to my discussion on Rupert's Land. Um, so consider this part two of that subject. It's going to be quite brief. I'm just referencing a quote from The Path of Destiny, a book by Thomas H. Randall from 1957, I think it is. Um, and this is on page 331. Uh, the Hudson's Bay Company had among their papers a charter signed by King Charles II, which granted them proprietary rights over all the country drained by rivers running into the Great Bay. It was drawn in 1670 when no one knew what rivers there were and whence they came. The Hudson's Bay Company had made small effort to find out, but others, especially the Nor'westers, had found that the bay received through Lake Winnipeg the waters of the Red and Saskatchewan rivers, which drained most of what are now the Dakotas and Minnesota and a vast stretch of the Canadian prairies reaching all the way to the Rockies. This was the huge empire in which the Northwesterns had so firmly established themselves. Yet, in fact, their possession was merely a squatter's right covering a few yards about each of their posts while the Bay Company held an actual royal charter to the lands. Now recall, in my part one, I spoke about how the inaccurate suggesting this is actual ownership of land, but the correct reality, if it was just simply a matter of exercising some control and having received permissions from the Crown in order to uh, engage in the monopoly of trade. Uh, and so as it said here, you know, the Hudson's Bay Company held an actual royal charter. Not to the lands themselves. This was no granting of land by the Crown because the Crown didn't own it. Crown could not do that. But the Crown could say to its subjects, um, only this company of men can engage in trade, which of course is with the indigenous nationals uh, in this part of the world. And, but yet here you have, you know, this talk of granting them proprietary rights. You need to look at the charter. And again, for those who want to read it themselves, it's the 1670 King Charles II Charter to the Hudson's Bay Company. It's easy to find online. And there is no granting of land. Um, now, what's interesting is the Nor'westers, uh, who were rival fur traders, uh, were exercising business but on without the crown's uh, permissions, without formal permissions. But the crown, in not perhaps enforcing, um, you know, the 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 charter, uh, and kind of leaving it to the Hudson's Bay Company to do their thing, um, you know, didn't interfere. So the discussion is that they were kind of like squatters. Well, they were interfering in this monopoly trade. Eventually, the Hudson's Bay Company uh, bought them out, and they, or they merged in, and I don't know the details right now of how that came to be or why, where they said, hey, you have no legal authority to be engaging in trade with the Indians. Uh, only we have that right. Uh, and they worked a deal and came together and said, well, let's work together. Because the Northwesterns had actually, uh, they had a different approach than the Hudson's Bay Company. Hudson's Bay Company relied on the Indians coming to them with their furs to trade at their posts. Whereas the Nor'westers actually went into Indian country and, uh, you know, went in to try to, you know, and pick up the furs from the Indians, if you will. So uh, two different approaches to the business. But neither of these approaches, whether royally sanctioned or not, um, could do anything to undermine the existing title of the lands in the indigenous nations that are governed by, and it's trite to say, the law of the land, which is indigenous law then governing the use of the lands. So you can imagine the uproar when, you know, word came out that somehow, you know, uh, their land, if there's loose talk, oh, you know, Hudson's Bay owned the land and they sold the land. That's not actually what happened and that's not what is, is described in the actual legal documents. So it's important not to give power to something that did not happen and did not exist. Um, it's important to be really clear as to what the transactions were about. And I'll get into more of that later. That's, that's it for now. Thank you.